Hello, I'm Meg Salyer, and I'd like to welcome you to the Ward 6 Council Show today. I'm really happy today to talk about a great event that's happening on Northwest 23rd Street soon. Our friend Carrie Blummert from the Oklahoma County, Oklahoma City County Health Department. You're the community partner coordinator, uh -huh. if I would. Yeah. That's a really long title yeah, and a really long name. Yeah. But you're uh, working on open streets. Yes. And I'm hoping that for um, our viewers that haven't participated before that we could start with a little history. I think this is the fifth year you've been on Northwest 23rd Street and eight open streets total because you also now uh, do an event in South Oklahoma City. Yes. So take it away and tell us a little bit about open streets yeah. to start with. So open streets is actually a concept that started in South America um, in the 70s called Ciclovia. And the concept is really simple. You close down a main road for several hours so no cars can be on the road and people can bike and run and walk and walk their dogs and bring their strollers. So we wanted to bring that concept to Oklahoma City. Um, we started in 2014 with our very first Open Streets OKC, and we chose Uptown 23rd Street because of the thriving business district. Um, I remember that day incredibly well, you know, hearing about it and wondering who was going to turn out and showing up, and there were thousands of people. Thousands of people and people and kids and dogs and bikes and all sorts of activities, but it was, the energy yes. was so high, it was really kind of a special surprise, I It think, really to was. Um, I was there that day too, and we were crossing our fingers for maybe a thousand attendees, and we think we had close to 10,000 that first, first time we ever did it. And we thought, okay, we have to do this again. Um, we have to make this an, an annual thing. Uh, so we partner with Uptown 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, we close down 23rd Street from uh, Western all the way to Robinson. So it's one mile. Um, and then recently we've connected the Paseo Arts District into the event as well. So right at that 23rd and Walker, we closed down Walker as well all the way up into the Paseo Arts District. I thought that was such a good idea yes. for people that may not be quite so clear that those two are in walking distance. Yes, Very they are. easily connected. And you've got a great strip of restaurants all there, all yes. along there with the Drake and Gusto. And, you know, there's just a path all the way up to the yes. um, wonderful stuff going on in the Paseo. And in addition to promoting health and wellness and, you know, being active, which is what Open Streets seeks to do, those businesses and restaurants say that it's one of their best days of the year. Um, so we're, we're actually using this event to promote local businesses and stimulate the local economy. And so we really like that aspect too of it. Great. You have partners and the number is staggering, but share with us some of the partners and kind of, you know, what the long-term purpose is. I know yes. we're supposed to get out and move. Yes. We want yes. Oklahoma City to be a healthy city. Yes. So. We have a lot of partners. So we have about 70 different partner agencies that come to the event and provide some type of activity. So the American Heart Association, Oklahoma's Credit Union, um, Oklahoma City Public Schools, Junior League, Oklahoma City University, um, a lot of smaller nonprofits will come out. Um, so when an agency comes out and helps us out, they provide some type of activity to get kids and families moving, and then they can also hand out information about what types of services they provide. Perfect. So I've seen hopscotch. Yes. I've seen face painting. Yes. I've seen just all... Last year we had a rock climbing wall. Uh -huh. um, we've had the YMCA come out and teach classes, you know, Zumba, Tai Chi. This year we're having Metro Tech come out and do some line dancing and um, Zumba. Um, the Boathouse Foundation typically has those rowing machines. Right. Um, we have all kinds of obstacle courses and um, belly dancing lessons. And mm -hmm. we try to have lots of different types of activities. So when kids come, they can try all sorts of things and figure out you know, something they've never tried before they might like to do. Let's see if we can't get some little junior rowers going. Yeah! And get families and folks <laughs> down to the Boathouse yes. District yeah. to take advantage of all of those amazing outdoor yes. activities and yes. sports. Yeah. And then we also have food trucks at the event. Mm -hmm. um, and you might say, well, a lot of our food trucks aren't that healthy. Um, so in order for a food truck to be a part of Open Streets, we just ask that they provide at least one healthy item on their menu that day. So even our donut truck provides a healthy item um, and it still sells out. It's these little protein peanut butter poppers. 
Um, so we really try to get everyone on board with making this a healthy event. I just got so happy I can find healthy donuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the greatest news ever. Hol Holy Rollers will be there Good. and they have vegan donuts uh -huh. and I've tried them and they you can hardly taste the difference. Great. So yeah. Oh what fun. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds really neat. So the purpose of Open Streets is it kind of is twofold. Um, one is to promote health and wellness and being active. And the other part of it is to promote active transportation. So raising awareness around walking places, mm -hmm. biking places, um, hopefully using public transportation. Embark is one of our big partners. They right. always come bring one of their really nice buses and let people kind of take a tour of the All bus. All of Embark's buses are really yes, nice Yes, thank buses. you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe actually they'll be able to do some work and promote the streetcar this year. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's our twofold mission is promote wellness and, and physical activity, but then also active transportation. Great. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You all do so much out at your headquarters yes. on Northeast 63rd Street. Yes. Can you give folks just a little bit of a sense about what is the City County Health Department and what is your mission at large? Yes, so the Oklahoma City County Health Department um, serves residents of the city and the county and our headquarters are out on 63rd Street like you said. Out there we really want it to be... And that be would be east of MLK. East of, east of MLK, of yes. So if okay. you are like you're going to go to Tinseltown Movie Theater and mm -hmm. exit off of I-44, instead of turning you just keep going straight. Great. On and we do have a bus Street. route now that goes... Bus Route 22 okay. goes straight to our front door. Perfect. Yes. Great. So out at that center, we really want it to be a wellness hub mm -hmm. where people can come get primary care services at our clinic. They can come walk on our walking trails. They can get cooking classes, weight loss classes. Um, they can attend you know, seminars and sessions to learn about all different kinds of things related to health and wellness. Um, we have several partners that come to that location and provide services. Legal Aid, the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma, OSU Extension. Uh, we have a community gardens. Um, you can That's come wonderful. and have your own garden. Um, we have soccer fields, basketball courts. So we really want it to be a health and wellness center. What does OSU Extension do out there for you? They provide a lot of education out in the community related to community gardening, okay. um, healthy eating, healthy cooking, yep. um, a little bit of agriculture. Um, so we partner with them quite a bit. I know yeah. people have been out there for cooking classes and yes. they were just fabulous and yeah. really well received. And just yes. A focus on healthier cooking at home. Yes. Right off the bat, healthier for us. Yes. But healthy cooking and using fresh ingredients. Yes. And it's terrific. Yeah. Um, and all we um, are you familiar with our total wellness program? Why don't you tell us about okay. it? Okay. So at that campus, um, we offer a program called Total Wellness. It's completely free. Your tax dollars have already paid for it. Um, and it is one hour a week for eight weeks. And you come and learn a lot of information about how to cook healthier at home, how to manage your stress, how to sleep better. Um, how to count your, you know, understand what a carbohydrate is versus a protein versus a fat. Um, so very educational. You take it with a group of people who you kind of become a support system for each other. And at the beginning of the program and at the end of the program, you get a free screening. So you can know what your cholesterol is, your blood sugar, your weight, all of that. Gosh, and you, it sounds great. I need to get my book club to sign up. Yeah. It sounds wonderful. It's free and it's only eight weeks long and you can take the program as many times as you want. Good. Um, um, so we, that program is very successful. We take several hundred people every time we offer it. Okay, that's so, awesome. So yes. let's, uh, before we wrap up, talk, let people know how to get involved. So first of all, directly contact the county uh, health department. How would one do that? You can go to occhd.org. That's the website. Uh -huh. um, and then the main number is 425-4300. So that's Oklahoma City? County Health Department, yes. OCCHD.org. Yes. Okay. And, and that then, is for the health department. And then if you want information about Open Streets, um, you can go to OpenStreetsOKC.com. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. The date? I'm very glad you asked this. Um, it is Sunday, April 8th from noon to 4. Okay. And it's completely free. Completely so, free. So yeah. all those activities are free. Yes. And again, yes. the street will be closed. I'll do that in reverse from Robinson to Western. Yes. About a mile yes. stretch. Activities completely family friendly. Lots of things for kiddos to do. Yes. Really a fun time. Yeah. And so if we skip forward to fall, have you selected a date for uh, Kaye 
um, Venti Cinco. Or? Yeah, so we'll go to the fall in October and uh -huh. do the same thing on the south side. Right. We um, are tentatively scheduled for October 7th. Right. But that, that date is not set in stone, but that's the date we're looking at. Wonderful. And it seems to me last year we did a little square between Southwest 25th and 29th. Correct. Um, we that we did that in 20, I want to say 2015 or 16. Last year, we last couple of years, we tried a new route. Mm -hmm. We went north south on Robinson oh, right. from the river down to 29th. Yeah. And we, that seemed to go really well. And mm -hmm. so we'll be back at that location again this okay. year. Fantastic. Yes. Well, there is just so much activity going on. Yes, there like is. I said, from construction all over downtown to lots and lots of opportunities to to get out and yes. be active. Yes. And, um, I was in a meeting this morning and we were talking about, you know, Oklahoma City's image. And one of those things we really need to work on is um, an understanding that as a community, we love to be out. Yes. We love to walk. We love to yes. ride bikes. We are fit and we enjoy the activity. So yes. open streets was one of the earliest yeah. ideas, I think, that got people yeah. thinking in that mode. So I want to thank you uh, for taking this on. Of course. It's really been a successful program. And um, I don't know how many you're anticipating um, on s Sunday the 10th. But. We're hoping for, we would love 20,000. <laughs> um, in 2016, we had perfect weather Great turnout. We think we had about 20,000. Great. Last year, the weather was a little bit, it was cool and rainy, so we didn't have as many. Um, so we're shooting for good weather and about 20,000 people. Great. So. Shoot for 20,000. Yeah. It'll be a wonderful day. I hope everybody will come down to Open Streets. Yes, thank Thanks you. Thanks so much for coming. Yes, of course.